Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Gemma here, how are you? In today's lesson we're going to talk about place value. So what is place value? Place value is the value of each digit in a number based on its position. Let me show you using a table. Okay, so here's our table boys and girls, let's fill it in. Okay, so when we're dealing with place value, we go from the right to left. Okay, so I've got some on the, I've got two on the wrong side of the decimal place, which means they're parts of. So we're going to start all the way from here. So this is what we call the hundredths, hundredths. So I'm going to abbreviate that and a legend will appear on the screen for you to have a look at. So I'm going to abbreviate, abbreviate that as HTH. So coming back, we've got tenths, tenths. So still part of a whole. So we're going to abbreviate that with a little t and th for the tenth. Then we've got a decimal place. So a decimal place doesn't move, it stays there. So then we start with the ones. So we'll do that with, a, with an o. Then we've got tens, hundreds. Then we've got thousands. That's a capital P and a little H. Then we've got tens of thousands. Ten of thousands. Then we've got hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. And then we've got, let's check, let's go back. So we've got hundredth, tenth, a decimal place, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. The next one must be millions, boys and girls. So we'll do that with a capital M. My text is running out. With a capital M. Let's go look at some examples. Okay, so let's have a look at an example, boys and girls. So if my number is 529, so I've written it down there for a reason, I want to put this into its place values, okay? So working uh, right to left, okay? So 529, so that's a whole number, so we start from the ones. So if we put the nine in the ones column, the two, which is worth 20 in the tens column, and then the five, which is worth 500, goes in the hundreds column, okay? So 529, okay? Let's have a look at another example. So if my number is 37.5, so I've got a whole number and a part of a number, okay? So again, we're working right from left. Okay, so we'll put the, the fourth in, which is worth a tenth, okay? So that needs to go in this column. So we'll put the four in there. We need to put our decimal place in because it doesn't move. So we'll put that in there. Then we've got our seven, which is a whole number, our first whole number, which is a one, worth ones, so seven. And then the three, which is worth 30, so three. Let's go look at some more examples. Okay, so let's have a look at these numbers now. So our first number is 6,810.85. So remember, working from right to left. So we need to put our five in, which is worth 100, so five hundredths. Put the five in. Then we put our eight in, which is eight tenths. Our decimal place, which doesn't move. 
Okay, so now we're talking about our whole numbers now. Okay, so there, we've got a zero here. Do we just not put a zero there? Put nothing there? No, we need to put it there because it holds a place value. So I'll put the zero in the ones column. Okay, so it holds that place. Then we've got the one in the tens column. Then the eight, which is worth 800. And then we've got the six, which is worth 6,000. Okay, so our number is 6,810.85. Let's have a look at the next one. So 24,070. So again, working right from left, right to left. But we've got whole numbers because there's no parts here. So we'll start with the ones column. So again, there's, there's no place value there, but we need to put it in because it holds the value. Zero, seven for the tens column. No hundreds, but we need to put it in to hold the place. We've got the four, which is thousand. Then we've got the two, which is tens of thousand. So 24,070. Let's have a look, the last one in this group. So we've got 200,941. So again, all whole number, no decimal places. So we'll start from the ones column. So we've got a one in the ones column. The four, which is worth 40 in the tens column. 900. We've got no thousands, but we need to hold the place. We've got no tens of thousands, but again, we need to hold the place. Then we've got the two, so 100,000. So our number is 200,941. Okay, so let's have a look at our last two examples, boys and girls. Oh my goodness, look at all these numbers. All right, let's have a go. All right, so we've got 1,682,493.27. Oh, I think I need a drink, boys and girls. All right, let's try and put it into our, our place value. So starting from right to left, so we'll start with the seven, so it's hundredths, seven hundredths. So I'll put our seven in. And we've got our two, which is worth two tenths. Our decimal place, because it doesn't move. Okay, so now we're up to our whole numbers. So we've got a three in the ones column, nine in the tens column, four in the hundreds column, two in the thousands column, eight in the tens of thousands, six in the hundreds of thousands, and we've got one, one in the millions column, boys and girls. Okay, let's have a look at our last one. All right, so our last one is seven million, one hundred and thirty-four thousand, and 500. Okay, so there are, it's a whole number, so no decimal places. So again, we've got, start from the ones column. So it's got, and I've got none, but I need to hold the place value. So I put the zero in. Also with the tens to hold the place value. Then I've got the 500. Got the four for the thousands column. Then I've got the three for the tens of thousands column. I've got the one for the hundreds of thousands. Then I've got the seven, seven for the millions column. So, 7,134,500. Boys and girls, there is a worksheet with lots of examples to help you practice identifying each of the different place values. You did an awesome job, boys and girls. Now that you know more about place value, your next lesson could be to learn about fractions. Now, I think that
that has something to do with decimals and percentages. I'll see you in our next lesson.